guys, in today's video, I have a roundup of some of my favorite sunscreens that are all under $10. Yes, that's right, sunscreens for less than $10, and I'm not talking about those teeny tiny little bottles that you see like less than half an ounce. I'm talking big bottles, a large amount. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I'm a board certified dermatologist. I upload skincare related content here on YouTube every day at noon Eastern Standard Time. I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the thumbs up. It really helps my videos out a lot. Wearing sunscreen helps to protect your skin from the damaging effects of ultraviolet radiation, which otherwise would lead to things like wrinkles, fine lines, hyperpigmentation, sallow skin, yellowing of the skin, as well as skin cancer. Ultraviolet radiation from the sun generates a lot of inflammation in the skin that can worsen skin conditions like acne, eczema, rosacea, and uh, hyperpigmentation, of course. If you're trying to fade any type of hyperpigmentation, you have got to be diligent with sunscreen. But one of the most common comments that I get here on YouTube, as well as over on my Instagram and on my TikTok is, Oh, it's so expensive. It doesn't have to be. Yes, a lot of sunscreens are super expensive. Many of the ones that yours truly uses, loves, and adores are super expensive. I fully acknowledge that. It is cost prohibitive in many cases, but it doesn't have to be. There are a lot of great affordable sunscreens, which I'm gonna cover in today's video. If you live in the US and you didn't already know, sunscreen actually qualifies as an FSA purchase. So if you have an FSA account, a flexible spending account, or a health savings account, account, HSA, many times sunscreens do qualify for that. And if you're not familiar with that, with what that is, it's basically um, a part, you know, certain health insurance plans offer it, but basically money that you spend throughout the year on health related costs, like over the counter medications, uh, you then at the end of the year don't have to pay tax on that money. So if you have a health savings account or a flexible spending account, do know that sunscreen qualifies because here in the States, it is classified as an over-the-counter medication intended to prevent a sunburn, which is very damaging to your skin. The sunscreens I have selected here cover the gamut of mineral only, chemical only, and combination, which means that the active ingredients are a combination of mineral, aka zinc, and some chemical filters. Uh, so I have something here probably for everybody. Sunscreen number one from CVS, a drugstore here, CVS Health Kids Sun Lotion SPF 50. This is an eight ounce bottle for $9.59. This is a mineral sunscreen. It does leave a white cast. So if you have a deeper skin tone, you have to know that going in. Anytime a sunscreen is a mineral sunscreen, meaning if you look at the active ingredients and it says zinc, or and or titanium dioxide, it's gonna leave a cast. No matter if it promises to be transparent, clear, or whatever, it's gonna leave a, some degree of a white cast, which may or may not be acceptable to you. If it's not acceptable to you, keep watching. I'm gonna offer some additional suggestions that don't leave a white cast, but this will leave a white cast. The advantage of using a mineral sunscreen such as this, however, is that uh, if you have very sensitive skin and you find that sunscreens burn or sting, this is one you might wanna give a, a consideration to trying because mineral sunscreens tend to not be irritating. This one specifically is marketed for kids uh, for that reason. Children's skin tends to be a little bit more sensitive than adults because it is uh, a lot thinner, so to speak. Um, this particular product is great for a day outside. It is water resistant, meaning that uh, it will hold up a little bit better in between reapplications. Of course, you always need to reapply sunscreen when you are going to be outside for a prolonged period of time, ideally every two hours, uh, because it does rub off. But having a water resistant formulation on there allows for a little bit better insurance in between reapplications. Another advantage of a water resistant sunscreen such as this is that it stays in place better when you sweat, which is something I take into account when choosing a sunscreen. I live in Houston. Uh, you don't even have to exert yourself to start sweating here. And so if something um, doesn't hold up with sweat, it's gonna run into my eyes and that's gonna burn and sting. So this particular product is really good. It will not run, it should not run into your eyes because it is water resistant. So it's really good for not only you, but also for your children. And I get a lot of questions, you know, I've highlighted in my videos how important it is to apply sunscreen to the skin around the eyelids, including, you know, here, 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 here. This is one of the most commonly skipped areas. 
But a frequent complaint that I get is, oh, all sunscreens burn or sting. You need to choose a mineral sunscreen for that location. Even if you detest the white cast of a mineral sunscreen, at least give it a try for around the eyes. A nice thing too about mineral sunscreens under the eye is they kind of have an under eye brightening effect. So highly suggest this and a very affordable product. Okay, number two is a dupe for a Neutrogena sunscreen I have always loved, and that is the Walgreens Clear Complexion SPF 50 sunscreen. This retails for $8.29. Uh, so still under that $10 mark. Now this one is one to choose if you hate that white cast because this is a chemical sunscreen. There is no cast with this. Like the uh, CVS product, it too is water resistant. And this is a great one if you have oily skin, shiny skin. It, uh, the original Neutrogena branding markets itself towards people who have breakout prone skin. Um, and it's a very good chemical sunscreen. It has good protection against both UVB and UVA rays. There's no zinc or titanium dioxide in this, which would otherwise give that white flash. So this is one that should not leave a white cast. Speaking of people with oily, acne-prone skin, you guys really need to wear your sunscreen because ultraviolet radiation can break down the oils on your skin and contribute to a lot of inflammation and further flares of acne. Ultraviolet radiation also drives more inflammation into the skin that will further worsen the acne. And if you have a medium to deep skin tone, you're already sensitive to your acne healing with a dark mark, wearing sunscreen will significantly reduce the chances that that acne will heal with a dark mark. So this is a great one to consider for those of you out there with medium to deep skin tones. Speaking of medium to deep skin tones, if you are under the misconception that you don't need sunscreen, you are mistaken. Just because you are less likely to burn doesn't mean that your skin is not damaged by ultraviolet radiation. Highly suggest this one, it is a good one. Now, a note about putting it around the eyes. This particular product, in my experience, does tend to sting around the eyes. So you may want to have a mineral sunscreen to apply around your eyes if that is more comfortable. All of these sunscreens, as a side note, can be used both on the face as well as the body. You don't have to fall into the uh, demographic specific marketing or the face body site specific marketing. If it says babies, you can use it too. If it says men, you can use it too. If it says women, you can use it too. <laughs> if it says, um, sea urchin i don't know about that but yeah um don't fall specifically for marketing so the walgreens clear complexion one is is a good no cast sunscreen for oily breakout prone skin number three is another mineral sunscreen that i have loved for a long time and i would say it's competitive with the cvs product i mentioned earlier and that is the banana boat sport 100% mineral sunscreen lotion. Again, this is a mineral sunscreen, so it's gonna leave a white cast. I find personally this sunscreen, as well as the CBS one that I mentioned at the beginning, both of them, the cast for me is not bad. Um, it's noticeable, but it's not too bad. If you have a deeper skin tone, however, do know it's gonna leave that cast. Like the CVS product, this one too is water resistant. It's $7.97 for six ounces. I like sunscreens like this for activities outside because they don't run into the eyes. You guys know I have loved this product for a long time. It is by Walgreens. It is their Sensitive Sunscreen Lotion SPF 50. Now this is a combination sunscreen. As a matter of fact, I believe it's the only combination sunscreen on here. So it's got zinc oxide and it has some chemical filters to um, cover UVB. Now, combination sunscreens, I find, as far as a cast, they are somewhere right in the middle. They're not a no-cast sunscreen-like chemical, but they're not like a sheet-like mineral. For people with very, very deep skin tones, many times, people with very deep skin tones are perfectly fine with a combination sunscreen. They'll say, oh, there's a little bit of a cast, but I, it's fine for me, it works well for me. Other people don't care for that whatsoever, but it is a nice compromise. And for people with sensitive skin, it has zinc instead of the UVA chemical filter avobenzone. People with sensitive skin sometimes find that that avobenzone is irritating. Maybe what's responsible for some of the burning and irritation symptoms around the eyes. So give a combination sunscreen a try if that is you. Again, it's somewhere right in the middle between mineral and chemical. As far as the cast, it's a nice compromise 
It's right there in the middle as far as being good for sensitive skin, but also having some chemical filters. So give, give this one a try and it's $2.99 for three ounces. For me personally, with my skin tone, zero cast. With this, looks great. This is competitive, in my opinion, with Elta MD's UV uh, sport sunscreen that I reviewed for you guys in my Elta MD sunscreens. That bad boy is like $20. So this is a very affordable dupe for that. Water resistant, um, and it's got, um, it's got dimethicone in it, meaning it's oil-free, as they say. And what that means is that for people who have oily skin, the, uh, a dimethicone-based sunscreen tends to feel a lot better, less greasy, and dimethicone-based products, one nice advantage of them is they help reduce that shine um, that other sunscreens may have that aren't you know, dimethicone based. So I, I, this is, this is a great one in my opinion, highly, highly recommend it. Okay, and then last but not least, should come as no surprise to you, this is a great value. I've talked about it in numerous videos. It's by Usrin. This is under $10. It is their daily hydration cream, SPF 30. This is a chemical sunscreen, zero cast with this super moisturizing in the sense that this is a product that you can use as your everyday face and body moisturizer and it happens to have sunscreen. So if you're not used to applying sunscreen and there are several roadblocks for you, like you don't like the cast, it feels sticky, it feels disgusting, try this and just try getting in the habit of using this every day to areas of the body that are sun exposed as a moisturizer in the morning um, to get you comfortable with wearing sunscreen because this is not sticky. What's Whatsoever. Now it's not water resistant, so I would not recommend relying exclusively on this if you're gonna be like out by the pool or at the beach. Um, but as an everyday product for daily sunscreen use, I highly recommend this. It's, uh, how many ounces? Eight ounces, it's a big bottle. Um, and the other nice thing about this product is that it has uh, licorice root extract, which on the label is glyceriza and flata root extract. That ingredient, helps to reduce irritation in the skin and it also helps to calm down redness if you have redness prone skin like those of you with rosacea and it also helps to um, calm down some of the processes that lead to hyperpigmentation so it's a fantastic ingredient to have in there um, uh, to to help you out with those things highly recommend this uh, no cast again and it's moisturizing but not sticky or greasy so those are my picks, you guys, and all of these sunscreens are free of fragrance, which I think is a good thing. Personally, even if you don't mind fragrance in your skincare products, fragrance can cause irritation, especially in sunscreen products. It's actually, you know, I get questions all the time, why am I allergic to sunscreens? I never really know what people mean by allergic. Are you actually allergic to it or are you easily irritated by sunscreens? Regardless, fragrance is one of the most common ingredients in sunscreens to lead to allergy. So I encourage people to avoid fragrance in sunscreens. But I've got two here from Kroger, another one of my favorite retailers that I will call an honorable mention uh, that I have used myself and I think are pretty good and I it would re be remiss to not at least mention. First one is the Kroger Sport Broad Spectrum Lotion SPF 50. This is a chemical sunscreen for $4.99 for eight ounces. If you've been here for a long, long time, you'll remember me wearing this in older vlogs. Uh, I love it. It absorbs very quickly. It's not greasy. It's not st stinky. It's not sticky. I think it's a dupe actually for either a copper tone sunscreen or a banana boat sunscreen. Really, really good. It does have fragrance, but the fragrance uh, isn't like headache inducing or anything. I personally have used this myself a lot as a body sunscreen uh, for days when I am like running errands or outside a lot and I'm wearing shorts. I like to have this, I, I, I was, that's how I was using it. I'm not currently using it, but I have in the past. Um, so it's really good, uh, $4.99 for eight ounces. And it's water resistant, so it's it's going to hold up well in between reapplications. Now this one, I have used on my face and it does sting around the eyes. 
The other product is not actually under $10, but it's pretty close. It's $10.99. And I know I'll get questions about this product, so I wanted to mention it here because I have gotten a lot of requests to talk about it. Um, it's the Kroger Sunscreen Invisible Gel SPF 40. Now this is a dupe for the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, which is really popular. It's a chemical sunscreen, it's clear, it's colorless, zero cast, and people with, um, oily skin really like this because it doesn't have that shine effect i mean it is a really elegant sunscreen formulation i agree um, however the kroger dupe is not entire is not a complete dupe in the sense that it does have citrus oil which is fragrance um, and honestly not a very good ingredient to include in sunscreens because of the reasons that i mentioned as well as the fact that citrus oils can um, make your skin actually more sensitive to sunlight uh, so I wish they had not put that in there, but I wanted to mention it because I have gotten questions about that product. But because Kroger manufacturers added the uh, citrus oil, I don't actually recommend that one. But I wanted to call your attention to those two because they are pretty affordable and you may have been interested. So that's my roundup of affordable sunscreens under $10. Uh, again, chemical, mineral combinations. We have a variety there. I will list these down below in the description box. But I want you guys to understand that sunscreen alone is not enough to protect your skin from the sun. If you're gonna be outside in particular, you do need to employ other measures like a broad brimmed hat, seeking shade, avoiding peak sun exposure hours in midday to really adequately protect your skin from the sun. A criticism of sunscreen is always, well, uh, sunscreens, since they've come about, we've actually seen more skin cancers. And the reason we think that that is is that in the early days, first of all, sunscreens did not have any UVA protection. So if you're not aware, there are two parts of UV from the sun, there's UVB and UVA. And it didn't have good UVA protection, which are the rays that don't necessarily burn, but they really contribute to skin cancer. So that is one reason. And another reason is that people had felt a little bit too confident in the fact that they had sunscreen and they didn't burn as easily because they had the UVB blockers on. So they ended up staying out much too long, uh, not reapplying because we didn't know how important that was. And as a result, they got a lot of UVA exposure uh, back in the day. So let's learn from their mistakes. Let's not just rely on sunscreen alone. Let's make sure that we you know, protect our skin in other ways with sun protective clothing, seeking shade, not staying out too long, and always reapplying the sunscreen. Reapplying is important because it uh, helps compensate for sunscreen that is removed from just moving around, sweat, etc., and it helps to actually cover more surface area. Uh, so very important. I have a video explaining that in detail. Anyways, guys, lots of yammering, but thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.